In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down a couple of key points for how to read and beat man-to-man -man coverage in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, basically what I do here at Madden 21 is I give you tips and tricks every single day that you can apply to your game. They're going to help you make you more effective at Madden 21 and I do that through tips and tricks here on YouTube. I also do that through live streams. I stream every single day at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time and I also do that through my texting membership. If you haven't joined the texting membership yet, it is completely free to do that. And we are actually going to be putting out a really, really solid uh, video. But basically what happens is every single Monday, you're going to get a free exclusive tip sent to your cell phone uh, from me. And this tip is going to basically typically be longer in format. So last week we showed you how to uh, stop the run from every formation in Madden 21. It was about a 50 minute long video. So that's kind of the type of content that you're going to get on the text message membership. Also, if you could do me a favor and let me know in the comments what you think of my new microphone. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Does it work well? Does it not work well? That would be awesome as I'm testing a new microphone. All right, guys, uh, real quick, let's jump into this. So I got a question from a guy. He was talking, I get a lot of these questions about how do you read the defense? How do you understand what the defense is doing pre-snap? How do you know what's going to happen? What we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about man-to-man -man coverage. So I'm going to come out in one of my favorite plays um, when I see that someone is running a lot of man coverage, and that is mesh post. And it comes to us from a play out of the uh, Arizona Cardinals playbook. Now, for those of you that don't know, I wrote an entire offensive and defensive guide uh, uh, my offensive guide was out of Arizona, and my defensive guide was out of the 4-6. I bundled them together in my Madden 21 Competitors Bundle Guide, and you can pick that up in the description below. That guide has over 100 pages of material on offense, on defense, on how to get stops, and how to score more points, and how to run the air raid pass-heavy uh, offense in Madden 21. So uh, the, the the play that we're going to be coming out in, we're, we're going to be coming out in Curl Wheel, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just give you a couple of samples of different things that you're probably going to see. So ideally, they're probably going to come out. And I, again, I don't know this for a fact, but if I was them, I would come out in Dime 146 or Dime 236. Or you'll see a lot of people are going to come out in Nickel 335 uh, odd. And for Nickel 335 odd, what they're going to do is they're going to put their safeties in here at these linebacker positions. And they may come out in cover two man. So we'll show you that real quick here. So when they come out in man to man, the first thing that you're going to notice is if you see these corners or, or these linebackers here, you see that they are outside of where they would be if they were looking at the line of scrimmage as it would be normal. Let me show you what's going to happen if there's a couple of pre-snap adjustments that they can do that's going to change that. So the first one is they can put their auto alignment to base alignment. It says right here that defenders will align according to their base formation position or they can set it to man align, which is defenders will align according to their man coverage assignments. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna show you what it looks like if it's set to base align and it's man to man coverage. We're gonna come out and cover two man again. And on offense, we're gonna come out in the play uh, curl wheel. And what you're gonna see here is now that right of screen uh, linebacker, let me click onto him here real quick, uh, Brooks, he is now inside where he's actually supposed to be via the formation. This actually makes it a little bit easier to attack man-to-man -man coverage because the, the, the defenders really aren't in a good position to be able to stop some of the key man-to-man -man beaters like drags, slants, and post routes over the middle of the field. So as you can see there, mesh posts from this. And when I say mesh posts, what I mean is I put both wide receivers in the slots on drags, and then I take the far right right or the uh, running back and put him on a wheel route. That's literally all I do to this play. And this play just torches man-to-man -man coverage every single route, I think, with the exception of the running back from time to time, will get open against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, what you'll see here is if I hit triangle R1, then my defenders are going to man align and you see that it moves them over the corners or over the receivers that they are covering and now you have a little bit more of issues there's another way that people will do with their man to man coverage and that is they might man align and they might press coverage so if they press coverage typically what that means is if they're if you're in gun spread like i like to run gun spread a lot if you are in a four wide receiver formation like gun spread and they are in a let's say a nickel three three five odd 
that nickel linebacker won't press. Linebackers don't really press, at least from what I've seen. It's really slot corners that are going to press. So you can see here on the left side, he's going to get pressed, but on the right side, he's not going to get pressed, as you can see right there. Now, there's also other occasions where what they'll do is they may bluff it. So, for example, they may uh, shade coverage over top. You can't tell. You might think they're shading underneath. You might think they're shading over top. And that's going to all, you know, kind of affect how they're going to really guard certain routes. If they're shaded underneath, you're going to have a better opportunity to hit them over the top with a streak. If they're shaded over top, then you're going to have to throw some curl routes or post routes or things like that. So uh, when it comes to man-to-man -man coverage, those are some of the keys that you want to look for. But the first, and, and you see here with baseline, you see the slot corner is looking at the wide receiver, the slot wide receiver. However, if you look at this linebacker right here, if you look at this guy right here, Duggar, he is looking at the guy he's guarding. He's looking at Aaron Jones. Now, if I audible to zone, what you're going to see is nothing changes. You see that right there. This is what we're going to get into here really quickly. If I come out in a man-to-man -man coverage play, and let's say I audible to something. Let's say I come out in cover two man, but I audible to cover two zone. You saw that the defenders don't change what they look like pre-snap. The same is also true. So if I come out in nickel 35, cover three, you're going to see here, you see that if I audible to cover, cover two man, you see now that these guys don't. They don't change. They don't look any, you, you don't see anything different on the outside. The corners are looking at the quarterback. The slot is still looking at the slot. The linebackers are still looking at everyone that they would look at if they were in man-to-man -man coverage. Now, what you're going to see here is when I man align, that changes everything. By man aligning my alignment, look at this. Gilmore's looking at Adams like they're looking at the players. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you if they don't base align their defense. Some people that you're going to play will, some people won't. And, you know, again, if they base align it, it's a little bit harder to tell, in my opinion. But if they just use their default alignment settings, then what that's going to do is what is basically um, you're going to be able to tell a lot easier what's going on. So if they're just if they're just like this, you see how everyone's looking at the wide receivers. You see the outside corners. Um, you see the, this slot uh, corner and outside corner. These guys, Jackson and Jones, they're both on the left side. They're both looking at their wide receivers. And same thing right here with Gilmore. Now let me show you what happens if I audible to cover three. So if I audible to cover three, this is default alignment. What you're going to see here, Gilmore's looking at the quarterback, McCourty's looking at the quarterback, and Jackson's looking at the quarterback. You see that? I audible to man. Now they're looking at the wide receivers. So that's kind of how you know um, ahead of time what is man versus what is zone if they don't do baseline tricks. I would say most of the time as a general rule, you're, if you think it's man, you're probably right. And if you think it's zone, you're probably right. So um, if it's you're going to think it's zone if they're looking at the quarterback, and you're going to think it's man if they're looking at the wide receivers. You see here everyone's looking at the wide receivers. So I know that it's man-to-man -man coverage, and I know that this inside post from Curl Wheel in the Arizona Cardinals playbook is going to absolutely torch man-to-man -to -man coverage over the middle. We have several routes like that in our ebook that we talk about. So that's a little bit about man-to-man -man and how to read it. Um, as far as the shading, I did want to talk about that really, really quickly here. So if I come out of man-to-man -man coverage and I um, and I man align, and what you'll see here is I'm going to shade my coverage to the inside. Watch the cornerbacks. When I shade to the inside, did you notice that the slot cornerbacks move to the inside? What that's going to do is it's going to make them much, much more effective against these little in routes and things like that. You're not going to be able to throw, obviously I was right there, but you're not going to be able to throw as well as you would. So same thing here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with that man coverage. Now I'm going to go on the left side uh, da, 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 here. Whoops. Um, so we're going to go man coverage. Now on the triangle coverage adjustments, what we're going to do is we're going to shade inside coverage. So that the reason we're shading inside is we're trying to take away this in route to Brown, which you're going to see it snap the ball. He still gets inside position, but that corner is in a lot better position. Now what I want to do is I want to show you what happens uh, when they shade coverage outside. So here you see there's outside shade. Outside shade just means the corners are going to shade to the outside shoulder of the of the uh, wide receivers. So if I were to throw Brown on an out route to the left side, this corner should shade out. And you see right there he is able to stop it. Now this is one little pro tip that I want to drop for you. 
as a general rule, in my at least this is just my assumption this year, I would encourage you to use inside breaking patterns. Most people are going to shade coverage outside. So let me show you this real quick. One more, let me show you this one more time. So this time I'm going to shade him inside, and I'm going to run that same out pattern to St. Brown. Now, out routes don't work as good as they used to, but you see he does have a little bit more of a shot. He has a little bit more of separation. If I shade, you know, and that's where I come back and say, it's all about the shading game. It's all about the shading game. So, for example, if I shade outside and underneath, you're going to see that now this out route it should get picked. Like there it was, you know, it should have been picked. If I click onto the corner, that's going to be an interception every single time uh, in Madden NFL 21. So those are some elements. And one of the things that I would say is you're going to see a lot of the shade coverage outside and then shade the coverage over top. By shading the coverage to the outside, it's going to help with wheel routes and those outside breaking patterns. But in my opinion, you always want to leave it with shading up or shading down. And that's going to determine whether they're going to press coverage or they're not going to press coverage. So those are some tips uh, about how to read man-to-man -man coverage, what it looks like, what are some cues that you could actually put on. Like real quick, if you look at these corners, if you look at Jones versus if you look at this uh, linebacker, uh, da -da -da -da, what's his name here? Brooks. Uh, Terrence Brooks you look at this right here. This is one thing that you need to know So if Brooks is if Brooks is like five yards off There's not really a way at least to my knowledge that he's gonna be able to get a jam So he's not gonna press that coin that that tight end So then you know, okay Well, then that means I can run some routes that I probably wouldn't normally run against press man press man is really really hard to be in, in my opinion this year So, you know, that's just something to be aware of another thing is Again, if they're shading coverage outside and maybe they shade coverage underneath, which is actually one of my favorite ways to play coverage defense this year, what you're going to see is they are still going to press. You see that right there. So for them to not press, the defense literally has to tell their corners. Um, they literally have to tell them to not press coverage whatsoever. So this is shading coverage over top. There you see your corners don't press. And they do okay in man-to-man -man coverage, but as you can see there, that's what I'm going back to saying, those inside breaking patterns still do a really, really good job of beating that man-to-man -man coverage. But anyways, guys, that is how to read and beat man-to-man -man coverage in Madden NFL 21. I really appreciate you guys checking out today's video. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful. If you want to sign up for the texting membership, that tip will be coming out tonight uh, via text message. So just text me. My number is 812-216-3644. That's how you can sign up for those free tips. And if you haven't joined the Discord yet, be sure to do that in the description. And if you want to go more in depth with the uh, offensive ebook that I mentioned in the Arizona Cardinals full offensive scheme, I would highly, highly encourage you to do that. Um, it is very, very effective. And you can pick that up in the description of this video. It comes with my full offense and my full defense for just $25, which is much, much, much less expensive than a lot of websites out there. So uh, I would highly encourage encourage you uh, to pick that up. It's been a great for a lot of people. And I think a lot of people are really getting a lot out of that ebook. So thanks for watching guys. And we will see you guys. Uh, we've got a couple of more videos coming tonight. So just stay tuned to the channel. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and we'll also see you on tonight's live stream. We'll be streaming Madden 21 at 10 o'clock PM Eastern time. See ya.